Hello again, my name is Hugh and welcome to my channel and my workshop. Um, another sort of collaboration this week. I watched a video a week or so ago from Wendy at Toonpish Crafts and I'll put a link to Wendy's channel video up there and down in the description below. And she cast four pen blanks and turned two of them. One of them went a bit wrong and the other one ended up as an absolutely stunning pen so as I said the, the video will be up there and down in the description but with the two remaining blanks she put out a sort of challenge anybody want to try and turn the two that's left so I said yeah well you know my love of pens and I love a collaboration so this is the blank um, resin but um, you might just be able to see it inside of this there's copper wire and aluminium wire so it's going to be a challenge but without any further ado I'm going to take this to the bandsaw cut it to length the kit I'm using um, is a Caltoy from Taylor Murphy with antique silver and antique copper which I think will go well with what's inside there uh, so let me get that set up in here and I'll show you all the bits see you in a sec okay that's the end of just of the blank as you can see the aluminium and the copper wire going through it so I'll be turning at 3000 RPM uh, very very light cuts using a negative rake uh, easy wood tools carbide cutter but before I drill for the tube I'm going to use a centre drill to find give me a, a chance with that so let's uh, turn the speed down drill it at 550 fully expecting the drill to wander because of the copper and the aluminium was a surprise it didn't wander it just came apart so I'm gonna cut another piece and drill through with a smaller drill bit and work my way up to this 9mm which is for this tube so I'll bring you back when it's time to give this another go Okay, so that's the second, and if this fails, then I will still put this video up as a thanks to Wendy for thinking of choosing me to try it. Um, right, let's try again, shall we? Okay, that's a seven mil bit. Speeds down to three two six. I really didn't like that so I'm going to turn the speed up a bit six ninety
there you go it's got some chip out where I don't know whether you can see in the tube where the the wire's gone but we'll give it a go let me get the tube in barrel trimmed next time you see this it'll be on the mandrel okay just before I put it on the mandrel if you have a look you can see gaps um, there and there and there and what I think that is is when the drill was hitting the aluminium and the copper it was bouncing around a bit and I could feel it bouncing anyway so what I'm going to do now is just drop some cold uh, cold thin super glue or CA down there so I'll do that, leave it five minutes, go and have a cup of tea, and then you'll see it on the mandrel. Okay, here we go, 3000 RPM. taking about half a mil off, 16 to the inch, less than that. safety I'm calling it quits here if you can see that's coming out but I can see the brass tube down there and I don't want that flying off with all these lovely bits of metal inside at me Let me have a think. Okay, I've dug that bit out. I've cranked the lathe speed now up to 3007. I'm going to give it another go. Um, but if I think it's too much, then I will stop. Sorry, Wendy. Uh, right. show when things don't work out. It's a shame, I think it would have made a nice pen. Um, and it's possibly, I might be mad enough 
to give this casting a go myself at some point um, but I would when I do it I'll be doing it with thinner wire so there we go uh, that's the end for today so there won't be any glamour shot at the end but all that's left for me to say is thank you for watching um, if you've liked it give it a thumbs up if you haven't give it a thumbs down either way leave a comment um, I read them all I reply to them all um, if you're not subscribed and you feel inclined to do so you can click on my icon at the bottom and um, click all on the notification bell and YouTube lets you know when I upload my videos which is normally a Thursday morning so that is a shame but there we go all you oldies, diehards, originals as ever, Jock and Marianne thank you very much so all I've got to say now is please take care <laughs> stay safe and um, I'll see you next week and well